Let's do final game of the season this Sunday against Aldershot. How are the preparations going for it? Yeah, good. We're looking forward to it. Uh, obviously, it was a good positive result on, on Saturday against Kings Lynn. Uh, we take that into this Sunday now. I keep saying Saturday, but it is Sunday. Uh, I think it'd be a bit weird playing on the Sunday with the prep being a little bit different. Uh, but look, it's a game we're looking forward to. It's a game that we want to end up on a high. And they'll be exactly the same. They've picked up a bit of form lately, uh, all the shot, and they got themselves out of that relegation scrap probably about four or five games ago as well. How does that um, prep change slightly then? I don't think it'll be our preppers in the sense that we can affect as a management team. It'll be more the lads. Preps used to probably getting up on a Saturday earliest. What they do with their Saturday, we'll make sure that they need to go out and do a little bit just to keep their legs ticking over, ready for Sunday. And how's the team sort of, I think they've secured safety around Easter with a good four or five games to go. Obviously there's the danger of what people say on the beach, but the performances have been really good, haven't they? And, and the results have merited that as well. Oh, definitely. Look, the lads will give everything every time they cross that white line and they've, they've given it all season. I expect nothing less on Saturday. Uh, there's Sunday. a good atmosphere with Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, see? So it's Saturday is Sunday. On Sunday, I expect nothing less from them. So... Uh, we're looking forward to it as a group they're looking forward to it as well it's always good when you're winning games of football to come into another game you want to play the next game Like the, for us really you, you don't really want the season to end yeah and as I say it's a good occasion and our away support's been terrific all year it must be good to sort of that's always always nice to finish home but you know you're going to finish in front of a really loud vocal away support um, who have been brilliant all year I'd have been outstanding and I thought on Saturday a special mention to them I thought they were outstanding on Saturday because there was times within the game where it did go a little bit flat especially early within the game uh, but I thought they kept us going they kept singing and they were loud uh, and we know what our away support's like it's been absolutely outstanding this season we've pretty much outsung all the home fans no matter where we've been whether that's Wrexham's whether that's to Stockport's wherever we've been the fans have been incredible and, you know it's something that we're looking forward to on the last game of the season on Sunday and I think a win that could put us as high as 15th that's just some tremendous achievement when you know you take into how well resourced some of the teams are in this league com compared to a team like us oh yes it's, it's an unbelievable achievement it's an unbelievable achievement for, for the whole football club to be in the position that we're actually in going into the last game of the season and not having to worry about any kind of relegation or being even dragged into it and we haven't really been dragged into it all season if you look at it we've, we've, we've always been far enough away to not really be involved in it and it's, it's a credit to the lads look you've got to give a huge amount of credit to the lads the way that the sacrifices that they do on their own away from football not just when they're with us but on the way where they're away from football and they keep themselves in unbelievable shape like you think this season the fitness levels are not told pretty much in any of the games Bob maybe one or two where you could say but it was against our stock pools once they get going they make everyone come fit yeah and they could win the league on Sunday too um just going on now to your um, yours and Matty's new two-year deal. It must it was never in doubt, really, was it? But it must be uh, good to finally get that signed, sealed, and delivered. Yeah, it's good. Look, we, me and Matty said when we first took the job uh, that you know it's a long-term plan. Us taking a job, and we still see it like that. It's a long-term plan, and we're, we're just in the process of moving on, and we just want to keep improving season by season. We understand next year is going to be even tougher than it was this year because we'll probably end up the only part-time club within the league. But we don't see that as a hindrance. It's, it's down to us to try and still bridge that gap again. Uh, and we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to the challenge. And it's been the sort of um, nearly 18 months now since you've been um, the manager. Um, how do you feel you've all developed as a, as a backroom team in that time? Because it's all still quite young as a management team too. Yeah, look, I think I stand here in front of the camera and Matty does at times, but the likes of Jason, the goalie coach, who does a great job, he's done a great job with George all season. The research that he does, you know, on the opposition forwards, on where they like to shoot, the penalties, the free kicks, the corners where they put them. So like, everyone behind the scenes doing their work. And then you've got Rach, who like I said at the presentation do, she basically, she mothers the lads, she looks after them so well. She, she goes way beyond what her job title is at the football club. And you know, without her, me and Matty, you know, we, we appreciate it so much because she does so much for us. And then you've got Michael who's come on board as the new physio. He's doing a great job. He's, he's fitted in like he's been here all season. Uh, you've got Kenny who's part of the coaching staff, first team coaching staff, and he's kind of like the bridge. He's with the academy as well. And then you've got Craig Saunders uh, who's done a great job and he's, 
he's first team coach with us and he's done a great job. He's tactically on the same page as me and Matty. And that's, that's the biggest thing, we're all on the same page and we, we all want to go in the same direction. We're just as hungry as the lads, so we're a hungry group that want success. Does that make the job a lot easier when you know everyone's singing off the same hymn sheet? 100%, you've, you've all got to be on the same page the minute that you're not and someone's trying to pull in a slightly different direction, that's the time when you have to cut ties. And I feel that we've got a really good backroom staff and I think that's where the success comes from. It's not just from me, it's not just from Matty, it's everyone. We're all collectively in it together and you've all got to be in it together. And if you are, then you get success and I think that's why we've had a really successful season. Do you think that translates to the squad too? Because I know we get, you know, everyone who comes on loan here seems to say, um, what a good group of lads they are, like the older ones as you sort of mentioned last week, your Alex Dyers and the Jerome McKimos and they how they nurture these young players when they're coming here and so it sort of makes it a good atmosphere. Is that always gonna breed positive results when an atmosphere is positive? Oh, of course it does it. What it does it allows lads, especially the young lads that come in on loan, to come and settle in quicker than what sometimes you can come into difficult groups where you have senior players where they're on you and it's not always the right environment for young lads to come and learn and develop because they're going to make mistakes and they kind of come into us to learn and make the mistakes. Uh, so our senior players have been outstanding this year on the pitch and off the pitch. Perfect. Cheers for time, Stu. Cheers, Chrissy. Boy.